Good morning, people. This is your boy Black Gun coming to you from Houston, Texas. Now, what I have for you today, man, is a simple way to save your food during a hurricane. You know, a lot of times during a hurricane, you can't rush out and get ice. The streets are flooded, things of that nature. And plus, those baggages of ice, they pretty melt pretty fast. But the old trick, if you take your water, put it in a Ziploc bag, and you fill that bag up to look like a baby pillow, right? You fill it up. You know the Ziploc bag is tough. They're going to hold on, right? That's the first stage. Then once you get it filled and it freezes, this is the finished product. Now you have blocks of ice. Now, mind you, that you leave it up in the freezer until the hurricane hits and the lights go out. That way that you have a full frozen block of ice. Then once you have this full frozen blue block of ice, you're in a safe place. You get what I'm saying? Because now you have something to store your food. If you got a cooler, you can freeze your three of these, put them on the bottom of your cooler. You get what I'm saying? And then you freeze you freeze about six to eight of them. You know, leave a few in the freezer. Just say the freezer go out. Leave you two and one on the top, one on the bottom. If you got three shelves, put one on the top, one on the middle, one on the bottom. And then if you got a cooler with your food, if that don't work, you take your food, place three in the bottom, put your food in, place three on the top, and then you'll be safe. Now your food will still be fresh. You know, and then when lights come on, you clean your refrigerator out and you store your food back. You don't have to worry about throwing away three to four hundred dollars worth of food for nothing. And also, you know, if you have these sitting around your house, fill them with water. I have three of them. There's bottled water around the house too. Plus, there's a filter on the refrigerator to get clean water. So you know, 